I am Anil Kumar and in this particular example we will understand how to use permutation and rather when to use permutation. So we have three different examples here. Let me say this is example 1, this is example 2 and that is example 3. The first one is find the number of five letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word brain where repetition of the letters is not allowed. Question number two here is find the number of three letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word brain where repetition of the letters is not allowed. Now difference between first and the second question is that in the first question we are taking all five letters and in the second question we are making a word with only three letters right so and in both cases similarity is that repetition is not allowed and now we have third example here which says how many four digit numbers can be formed using the digits one two three and four now when you're making numbers you can repeat the digits so in example three we can repeat the digits so now you can find that these three examples are kind of similar with one difference right and that makes a huge difference in understanding how to apply permutation so that is the object of this particular video now let's get back to it, it says find the number of five letter words let us say these are the five letters one two three four five five letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word brain so in brain we have five letters one two three four and five correct now repetition of letters is not allowed so once you use b you cannot use it again that's the whole idea now the number of ways it can be arranged is let us say we look into the first position we can choose or select one of these fives so the options here are five once you take that book, letter you cannot repeat it so you are left with four now right so four and if you select these two you are left with three so three and now two and the last one correct so that becomes the number of ways and using the fundamental counting principles we can write this as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or 5 factorial correct so that becomes the number of combinations right so we can now multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and get a result as equal to 120 now if you get back to the definition of permutations permutation is an arrangement in a definite order now here also the order is important right so if i write b r a i n if i change the word to r b a i n it becomes a different word so order is important right so that is a case of permutation and since we are taking all five together we could have written our answer also in terms of permutations as out of 5 we are selecting all 5 5 p5 let us use calculator to find what is 5 p5 right so it is uh, 5 p5 equals to 120 right so we get the same answer so that is how we can apply the principle of permutation so if you in general are taking all the letters and the order is important and repetition is not allowed in that case the formula will be NPN correct so that is illustrated by the first example now let's look into the second example here find the number of three letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word brain so so we are using only now three positions the first position can be filled by five as we saw last time the second by four third by 
3 since the repetition of the words is not allowed and therefore the number of ways in which we can select three letter words will be 5 times 4 times 3 and that is 60 right 60 now this is also a case of permutation where you are selecting some right so not all you're selecting some and in that case we can use directly 5p and we are selecting 3 out of 5 right so 3 so 5p3 should be the solution let's calculate 5p3 so 5 permutation 3 is equal to 60 you see that so that is how you can actually get the answer very easily using permutation so these are the cases so in the first case we are selecting all in the second case we are forming words with only three positions and now we have taken another case which says how many four digit numbers can be formed using the digits one two three and four remember in numbers we have these four positions and where these digits can repeat right so so it, if we have one here we can again write one like we can have one two three four we can say one one two three right so so one can repeat we can say one 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 three we can also say one 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 these are all unique numbers so in such cases what really happens is that for the first position you can select any one of these fours and then the second position also you can select any one of these fours and then also so we can always select four out of four repetition is allowed so in this case the answer will be four times four times four times four or four to the power of four do you get so so that is what it is so it will be four times four times four times four and that is equals to 256 so in cases where repetition is allowed in that case the answer will be n to the power of r where r is the number of places which you are looking into right so that is how we should be answering questions based on permutations i hope the concept is clear now we'll take few more examples where the cases will be special we'll give some conditions in finding or selecting the number of ways so go through those videos to get the whole concept of permutations i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and share my videos thank you and all the best